Richards. A telegram to be sent to the following three people. Miss Phyllis Warrenden, 413 Gull Beach Road. I thought you'd be gone. I wanted to talk to you, Miss Warren. How'd you like my story so far? Me? Why, I wouldn't be fun. Oh, don't try to kid me, Millie. You love my stories. They hand you such a hearty laugh. I'm too old to believe in love. Oh, <laughs> lucky girl. Any calls? Mr. Schiller from New York. Uh, tell him this copy was in the mail. He said you aren't getting any more money till the story's in the magazine office. Miss Warren, and it's almost a month now. I'm sorry, Millie. I'll get it off tonight. You'll be paid as soon as the check comes next week. Well, anything else? Um, you uh, do forget to write things down sometimes. Mr. Archer didn't call, if that's what you mean. Guess he's too busy. Women call him all the time, I hear. Yes, I suppose some women can make fools of themselves. Can't say that I blame him. He's something all right, if a woman can afford him. Well, that'll be all, Millie. Good night. Good night, then. Oh, um, this telegram came, too. I forgot that. I guess Mr. Schiller is anxious. Good night. Good night. Hello, is Mr. Archer in? When do you expect him? He's gone for the weekend. How nice for him. Well, if he should call in, ask him to get in touch with Miss Warrenden. Tell him I have some news. Some very important news. Friday the 25th. Right. Well, time for the morning shift. Good night, Candy. Isn't it always? What were you talking to old Ben Harris about? You've got good eyes. What would you two have to talk about? A rancher. Why not? I'm just a farm boy myself. Oh, yeah? From what pavement? I hear he's retiring. Selling the place. What do you say we go to work? I want my breakfast. Speaking of work, I might be leaving here. You're kidding. I'll miss you. I'm the sentimental type myself. But put this idea in your head. Oh, since certain people bought into the place. Doesn't bother you working for them? Not till they ask me to do something I don't like. Well, come on. A.L. Grady Suite for two weekend of the 28th. Confirm. Stanley Spaulding, single, 25 and 26. Confirm. Well, come on. This is a reservation. I regret to inform you that Mrs. Victoria Ainsworth passed away last night in her sleep. Wire, if convenient, you'll be in my office 10 a.m. the 3rd. Edward McAdoo. Are we being sued? Why is this one of your girls? My aunt, great aunt. I only met her once, a few months ago. Funny. I never think of you having a family. Just two orphans in a hard world, that's us. 10 a.m. on the 3rd. Edward Mackett. Wouldn't she talk to you? She didn't want to. I begged her. I had to humiliate myself. Carolyn, for once in your life, don't cry. Well, she's furious. She doesn't believe you have any powers at all. She thinks you're nothing but a common swindler. Frustrated old spinster. I told her that you didn't pretend to be infallible, that you only gave guidance. The stars do rule everything, and you were sure her investment would work out. And? She didn't believe me. But I guess she felt sorry for me. She said she'd wait. For how long? For a while. She won't prosecute if the money is returned. She didn't suggest where I could get it, did she? Well, you've been in trouble before. You'll get it somewhere. I've already done everything I possibly can. But 
you haven't. I haven't? Where could... Everett, I will not go to Aunt Victoria. No. Well, she didn't want to know what the money was for. Tell her it's to keep your husband out of jail. Well, you know how old-fashioned and straight-laced she is. She'd never give it for that. And tell her it's to keep you out of jail. Everett. Why not? You're my wife. Everything I've ever done, you've been a partner I in. I never had anything That's to... That's all I have to say. Everett. You think I wouldn't? Yes? This is Mr. Coyle. Read it, please. Thank you. 